I am going to try a new technique today and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not sure if anybody else has tried this technique in the way that I'm about to, but I would like to call this the scoop and fold. This may initially look like one big mess, but watch till the end. Hi. So I'm not going to bore you all by going through my colors one by one, but I will list them in the description of this video. Okay, but this is how this is going to go and I'm going to guide you through it. And I have been practicing this for a couple weeks now, several attempts. I've been pretty frustrated. There's times I just get so mad, but it's all right. Turns out beautiful. All right, so I'm going to layer this color first. Now with this technique, because I didn't want too much cells or lacing, I I want to I want to start with the, uh, the the less dense paints to go in the beginning, and I'll explain why later. Okay. All right, so. I'm gonna do one thin line right here. This purple is called Pansy Purple. I'll have it in the description, but what kind of a name is that? Pansy Purple. I don't even know what a pansy is, aside from the obvious, me. But, I'm just kidding. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's a flower maybe? Huh, I don't know. All right, here's the next group. Now, the next group of paints I have are more dense than these that I put down. Because again, I just want some cool lines. I don't want any, I don't want any uh, too much lacing. I'm gonna get a little bit, because these are all very different densities. Okay, all right, let's see. How about this purple and yellow? That goes good together. Let's go yellow here. I don't know what it is with this fluorescent red and fluorescent orange, but they are a bitch to get to show up. They always just sink straight through because they're, they're dense colors. Maybe at some point I can use them as a cell activator. I don't think I state the obvious a lot. Yeah, I know this is blue. No shit. Uh, let me go to put a little bit more paint. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, or not. Okay. So, this is my colored layer right here. Okay, these are all the colors that I'm going to want to eventually show in this painting. This is going to be my, I'm going to say my base paint, but technically not a base paint because the base paint goes on the bottom. So in this situation, situation in this painting, this is more my base layer. This is the top layer. This is going to be, if I get any negative space, it's going to be this color. Now, I'm going to layer this. I want to try to get kind of a thinner layer over all of this except the edges. I'm going to leave a good amount of space on the sides, okay? So, let me actually pour this out just little by little because you don't, you don't want too much of this. I'm just trying to get a little thinner layer. Do one big circle like that. Try to get everything to fill in. What I did before when I was practicing is that I I went and I put all this on a dustpan and then I laid it over, but it was way too thick. And I want this layer to be just a little thinner. It doesn't have to be 100% covered because all of this is going to be covered. And you'll see why when I start scooping. Scoop and fold, scoop and fold. 
I'll get to that here in a second. You all see where this is going? You all see where I'm going with this, sort of? If not, it's okay. Sometimes I hardly know where I'm going with it. I do love this technique, though. I absolutely love it. It's, it's really cool, you know. Painting is the one time, one of the only times that I am 100% focused. It's very therapeutic to me. It's like a break from being ADHD all day long. Some days you come home, you're just mentally exhausted, trying to keep up with your brain. Okay, that's good enough. All right, and again, all of this here does not need to be completely covered because it's going to be covered regardless. All right, so I'm gonna make a little bit of space. You want a lot of space around you because I am gonna spin this canvas, all right? And now for the fun part, the technique. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop underneath, I'm gonna get deep in there and then I'm gonna fold over, okay? I'm gonna start, start right here. You all see? All right, cool. All right, you wanna, you wanna kinda scrape the bottom of the canvas. Okay, and then you're gonna whoop, scoop, okay? And then the rest of this, I'm just gonna kind of put on the side like that as much as I can, because I do want enough paint for everything to smoothly glide off, okay? And I'm gonna start, let's go over here, okay? Actually, I'm gonna get this orange and purple. Let's see if I can get that to go over, and scoop, and fold. Like I said, this is going to look like a giant mess, but watch till the end. Okay, scoop and fold. Let's go, how about right here? Got plenty left. Scoop and fold. Woohoo! And let's get, how about right here? Nice little area right there with the green. Scoop and fold. Okay, and let's see, you can kind of see. I like to, now, like I said before, I like the edge, the edges to show the colors because I know what colors I'm scooping over. Okay, so scoop and fold. I have done this so many times trying to get it on video. Okay, and how about this side right here? Scoop and fold. Okay. We've got plenty of paint here, so I can just put it here on the sides. Let's see what else we got here. What areas am I missing? Good thing about this is if there's an area you don't like, you can rescoop. I'm not crazy about that dark purple right there. It's too much. Okay, and scoop and now that is something. We can get that yellow to pop a little bit more, but I don't know. I just I just don't know. Let's do right there. Scoop and fold. Ooh, got some of that nice uh, metallic purple right there. Wish the metallic showed a little bit more on the camera when I'm doing these videos. You know? Because it looks so much cooler up close. Something tells me I'll have enough paint. <laughs> Just a guess. Ooh, how about right here? Forgot about this part. Look at that pink. Scoop. And fold. Okay. 
when I see all these beautiful colors, I try not to always get my hopes up too much in the beginning because I don't know, I, always, I don't always know which ones are gonna disappear. And that's been like the issue with, you know, me trying this technique is that a lot of the good colors would disappear and then I'm looking at their densities, I'm like, all right, yeah, they're extremely dense, yeah, they're gonna go down. Let's pop some of the bubbles. This we got oh green, a little bit of green, All right? And scoop, cool stuff. All right, you know I didn't really scoop this area much, now did I? Did I scoop that? I'm not really sure. Huh? Guess we'll never know, or will we? Scoop and fold. Did I miss any areas? All right. All this paint, the good thing is put it on the sides. Don't let it go to waste. This is gonna help everything just glide off. Okay. Always like to have backup paint. I'm just gonna spread all the sides here a little bit. And I'm just gonna fill in with just a little bit. All the sides right there. Okay. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Everything just glide off. Let's pop that pop. Come on, you bitch. Go. And this one. I'll just do that later. Alright. I think I'm ready to spin. What do you think? Let's go. Got paint all over the floor last time. 